Welcome to the first episode of Platinum Hunters Extra. This is going to be a supplemental show to the trophy guide videos that you're getting on the channel. And this is going to talk about all the different oddities and retro stuff that comes with trophy hunting and stuff that you cannot obtain and stuff that just doesn't have trophies. In this case, we are going to be talking about PS3 Game of the Year editions on disc and off disc because it's a very important thing considering that eventually the PlayStation Store is not going to be around anymore. This was going to be a very different video than what I planned to put out but Sony made the right decision in the long run but it still proves that this is going to be a temporary solution. I will give you my full opinion on that whole situation towards the end of the video as I don't want to put a rant right in the middle of the video. Let's instead get into a list of all the games that have DLC in a form of a complete edition or definitive edition or game of the year edition or ultimate edition, you know all these crazy names that they have for these things. Let's jump right in. And here I have compiled a spreadsheet that I'm going to leave a link down below and you can see which games are in each category and as well pertaining to trophies I tell you which ones are unobtainable, which ones are vouchers and ones that have partial DLC in the case of two games on the list. The good thing is that a lot of these games from the PS3 era have been re-released in some form and there is a separate column in the spreadsheet that tells you all the games that have this. So if you're starting fresh on a certain game, well you can just pick one of the PS4 or PS5 re-releases and go that way. But a lot of people have been playing in the PS3 era and they have started trophy sets in that era and they have to finish DLC or they have to finish the main campaign of a game to get the platinum. So this is where this video comes in for prosperity's sake and for the point of game preservation. Especially when the store finally closes and all you will have left is physical games and you're gonna wanna have as much on the disc as possible before that happens. Or you're gonna have to have your stuff installed on your PS3. As you can see, there are tons and tons of games that do have the content on the disc, which is fantastic. And they're complete with all the DLC, which is amazing. But there are some games that haven't been re-released yet and I want to take the time to focus on those ones in particular. Some of the big standout ones that have not been re-released on the PS4 or PS5 in any fashion and those games are stuck on the PS3 with no way of playing them other than having them on the PS3. The granddaddy of them all has to be Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots in which all the DLC has been accumulated on the 25th anniversary version of the game. So that is the version you are going to want to seek out if you want to get the full MGS4 experience or you can look for it in the MGS definitive edition although a little bit harder to find it is definitely on the disc there. Next we have a special case for Little Big Planet 1 and 2 and I have covered these games here on the channel. They both have trophy guides here on Platinum Hunters, but the special case is that not all the DLC is on the discs for these ones. They are missing certain packs that relate to trophies. If you follow my two videos, which I'll link down below, you can find out what happened in the case of that. But to sum up, the main reason is Little Big Planet has a ton of DLC, including costumes of every series and every IP you can think of they have it and it's gonna be hard to put all that on a disc two other very staple games that you would think have gotten a re-release in some form are Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas both of these games are still on the PlayStation 3 and not on the PlayStation 4 or 5 and I know it's not going to happen now that Microsoft has bought Bethesda and there is backwards compatibility natively on the Series X and Xbox One. PlayStation just doesn't have that luck. I don't think we're getting backwards compatibility anytime soon and, and now that this studio has been bought by Xbox, I don't think this will ever get it. So if you're looking for the Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas experience on PlayStation, 
this is how you're going to do it. You're going to have to play it on PS3. And the best thing you can do is grab these Game of the Year editions that come with all the amazing DLC that these games offer. Another game that has not been ported to any other system is Persona 4 Arena. In particular, you're going to want to grab the Ultimax version of the game that has not only P4 characters, but P3 characters as well that were included as DLC post-launch. Eventually, we might see this game come to other platforms, but if you want to play it now, this is the best way to do it. EA has a ton of games that are still stuck on the PS3 and we're probably not going to see any compatibility going forward, but that doesn't mean that EA hasn't been doing a bad job or anything like that. It's just EA releases so many games that not everything has been preserved yet, but they do do a good job, especially they've re-released games like Burnout Paradise, they've re-released Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and the Mass Effect trilogy is coming and that's going to be the definitive way to play the games. But there are certain games that haven't come yet, and that includes Battlefield Bad Company 1 and 2. Those games are not available on any other PlayStation platform and surprisingly enough their platinum trophies they're not unobtainable. The servers are still up for both of those games and the platinum trophy is still up for grabs. So if you're planning on getting every Battlefield game done, grab the Game of the Year editions of both Battlefield Bad Company 1 and 2. Another series that has not been transferred over is the Dragon Age series, in particular Dragon Age 1 and Dragon Age 2. You can get the Ultimate Edition which comes with Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Origins Awakening DLC. That's the version of the game you're going to want to get. Unfortunately, Dragon Age 2 never got a version like this and you'll have to buy the DLC separate. And this is the exact same way with The Force Unleashed 1 and 2. Yes, these classic Star Wars games that I personally love, but admittedly the second one was just not as good as the first. And the second one doesn't have a version that comes with all the DLC, kind of like the way they did it with Dragon Age 2. But you can get the Sith edition of The Force Unleashed 1, and that's the definitive version you're going to want to get. And the final EA game that I can recommend you grabbing is the Need for Speed Most Wanted reboot as that Platinum Trophy is still up for grabs still to this day. The servers have not been shut down and you can hop on this game that was made by the same people who made Burnout Paradise and you can play and get all the DLC trophies and make your way up the Most Wanted ranking. This one's an interesting one. Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut has not been put over to PS4 or PS5 yet. The sequel is there, but not the original. And this is the definitive version of the game because this director's cut changed a lot of things about the original game that fans just didn't like about it and made them better. So you're gonna wanna grab this version that has all the content and the game improvements that were made and it'll be the best way to enjoy this game. This next game, I still cannot fathom why it hasn't been remastered but then I remember oh its sequel has spanned across three generations of consoles I'm talking about Grand Theft Auto 4 the best way to get it is to get the complete edition of this which comes with the two episodes The Lost and the Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony two very fantastic DLCs for a very fantastic game and as well you're gonna want to get the game of the year edition of Rockstar's Red Dead Redemption which comes with the Undead Nightmare DLC and a bunch of other cool DLC that came with the game again I don't understand why this hasn't been re-released as well and I think with Red Dead Redemption 2 being a live service game in the same way that Grand Theft Auto 5 is I don't think we're going to if you want to play it this is gonna to have to be the way you're gonna do it the Mortal Kombat Complete Edition, with a K, is the definitive way to play the Mortal Kombat reboot game that came out. This will have all the guest characters that were featured in that game, as well as the extra characters and unlockable stuff. And the last game that I want to highlight here is XCOM Enemy Within Commander Edition. This will include the original XCOM Enemy Unknown and the Enemy Within DLC all packaged together so you can enjoy the full XCOM experience. So those are some of the must-have ones that you should 
be going out and finding, but again, go and check the list to see which ones have Game of the Year editions with all the DLC and which ones are vouchers. It's very important to know which ones are going to give you vouchers because these vouchers, forget it, they're expired. I'm going to be doing a separate video for collections, so that's going to include like God of War Saga or it's going to include Sly Collection, stuff like that. Or even something like Assassin's Creed where they bundled all the Ezio stories together. I hope this helps you with your collecting and buying decisions when it comes to the PS3 and overall what I think about Sony deciding to get rid of the Vita store and the PS3 store, it just doesn't make sense because they haven't figured out a way to make these things backwards compatible or given us a service where we can access these without streaming them. Not everybody's got great connections so they can't use PS Now for this. And instead we'd rather have these things available to us downloaded so that they work in the way they're intended. And it's clear that Sony doesn't have a fix for this. So what we're going to have to do to make up for this is collect the games and have them installed on the consoles patched uh, post when they decide to take the store down. With the next series of videos that I'm going to be making, there are going to be very different videos uh, from the regular content on this channel and they're going to be woven in between the trophy guides. So the next video you're probably going to see is a trophy guide but I'm also going to be creating more Platinum Hunters extra content focused on collecting games and making sure you have the library that you want and you can access all the trophies and everything especially for people who want to have the platinum trophy or 100% completion for everything. I know it doesn't make sense for a lot of people that they have a PS3 version of something when they have the platinum for the PS4 version of the game It's and it's the exact same game but people want to collect these platinums and honestly in terms of game preservation this should be something that people should be able to do. That's my thoughts on this but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I'm missing anything on the list. Let me know if I need to correct anything on the list. Tell me in the comment section. I will make the change and make sure that this is an updated spreadsheet and it will give you all the information you need. I hope you guys have a good day. My name is Josh Rockstark. Enjoy your trophy hunting expeditions and peace out.